Natasha Lance joins me with a closer look at some of the other observances held today in Metro and beyond. Natasha? That's right, Ron. Well, across the country, many people stopped to pay their respects to fallen soldiers in honor of Memorial Day. President Trump kicked things off con by continuing the tradition of placing the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington National Cemetery today. Before going into that ceremony, the president tweeted, those who died for our great country would be very happy and proud at how well our country is doing today. But visitors wanting to pay their tributes and respect at Pearl Harbor were turned away. The USS Arizona Memorial is closed right now for repairs. The war memorial marks the resting place of more than 1,100 soldiers and Marines killed during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Earlier this month, cracks were spotted on the visitor's ramp and outside the memorial, and the National Park Service says it will be closed for an undetermined period of time. Well, in the Metro, many pay tribute to fallen soldiers, and this photo tweeted by the Braves is going viral. A fan holding an umbrella over a, a JROTC member standing over his SunTrust Park's designated prisoners of war chair, and the caption says, respect. And in the Metro, many pay their respects all around the city. In Roswell, thousands of people from all over the Southeast came out to City Hall. Their event is known as the largest Memorial Day celebration in Georgia. This year was their 22nd year of celebration. Over in Marietta, more than 10,000 Civil War soldiers are buried in the Marietta National Cemetery. The Boy Scouts placed American flags at the site today, as they have done for more than 20 years. This year, more than 1,000 boys and girls came out to the cemetery with their flags. In Alpharetta, this was their fourth annual Memorial Day tribute, highlighted with the city band and a keynote speech from Major General Maria Britt. She was also awarded the second highest U.S. Army Award, the Distinguished Service Medal, for her leadership as a commanding general. And in Gwinnett County, a ceremony honored the men and women from Gwinnett who died serving our country, including Army Specialist Etienne Murphy. And you will find more about today's tribute to Specialist Murphy on 11alive.com as well as all the other events honoring America's service members who made the ultimate sacrifice.